You don't want to say that? Screw that. My name is Hallowed Revenant, and welcome, undead creatures of the night, to a new Let's Play of Metroid Fusion. One of my favorite games of all time. Like, like, okay. I don't even know how to explain how much this game means to me. Uh, this is one of the first games that I ever played on my Game Boy way back in the day. Um, it was one of the very first games I ever beat, along with Resident Evil 4 and Oblivion. Like, this game it means an insane amount to me. And, yes, okay, uh, this is kind of to celebrate the release of Metroid Samus Returns. Um, a little bit late, might I add, though. Uh, that did come out on 3DS, and there's no way I have to record that or play it at all, so I probably won't be doing that, but this game, um, this game is chronologically the last one in the series, uh, so far, that takes place, uh, more recently than all the other ones, so it's, it's the latest game in the series, technically, chronologically, and, uh, it takes place after Super Metroid, I believe, uh, on, uh, we will be playing that one, probably. Maybe, I don't know. I might be doing a, uh, what do you call that? Oh, what do you call that? I don't even remember. When you, when you come together and, and, uh, do a, do a let's play with someone. I might, I might do it with someone. Uh, but this one, this one is one of my favorite games, and it's just kind of hard for me to pass up playing it, uh, cause it's one of the games that I know that I can beat. And it's it's something that I know that I'll finish for you guys. Um, yeah, the music in this is amazing. This is this is one of my favorite games like in the world. All right, I've been assigned to watch over Biologics research team, so I once again found myself on the surface of SR388. Now, this isn't gonna be like a perfect speed run or anything. Like I'm not I'm not trying to get like a perfect run of the game. Uh, it's, uh, this is emulated, so it wouldn't count anyways, technically. Uh, my real, I, I don't have any way to really record the real, like, cartridge that I own, because of, uh, I would require, like, a, either some kind of video card for Game Boy recording, which I don't have, or I would need some kind of, I would need the adapter so I could play Game Boy games on the GameCube, which I also don't have, and those are expensive, so... Yeah, we're just gonna play it on an emulator, because why not? So, alright, anyways, back to the story. The story in this is amazing, by the way. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about it a little more afterwards. It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. Oh, should I be doing a girl force for this? Oh! Oh, is that spoilers? <laughs> okay, okay, anyone who's never played a Metroid game, I apologize. Um, but yeah. Sorry, Samus is, is a chick. I, I, or, uh, a woman should I say, you know, let's be, let's be respectful, but yeah, um, nah, nah, let's just keep with the voice. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Now this cutscene, this cutscene blew my freaking mind when I was younger, because like, it's just insanely good, like, like, it's insane to see this kind of, like, details on a game. Like, because I've been playing, like, classic games, uh, like, my whole life. Like, classic NES and Super Nintendo and Genesis and all that. Like, seeing a cutscene like this was crazy. It was filled with story, and, and it just gave it, it just, it just gave it all to you right there. Like, right before the game started. And you knew what you're doing. This one is, uh, referenced as being more of a linear one. Um, in my opinion, that's not a bad thing. Um, it's... It's still one of the only Metroid games I've ever finished. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, once the exit infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness, and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. Okay. So... The story in this is freaking amazing. It's uh, it, it, yeah, it, it kind of spoon feeds it to you a little bit, but it's it's really good story. Like the story is one of my favorite things about this game. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologics vessel recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation HQ. 
However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my suit, power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Yeah, uh, what was the saying? Uh, sorry. Then, someone found a cure. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. Like this, this, this whole cutscene is just crazy and awesome, and it's 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 so like sci-fi and, and epic and cool to me, and it's just cool. Um, also, can't lose Samus. Let's just point that out there. Like, Metroid cell culture, like, last one ever, you know. Let's use it to save Samus Aran, the bounty hunter. Because, you know, Samus is the sh the best. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived, reborn, as something different. Pondering this fact, I realized I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. Alright. Oh, the, ship, the ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biologic Space Labs, or BSL, research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that the, an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I am being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt C computerized CO is something I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I've found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other CO. Okay, so, uh, I don't know how accurate the emulation will be on this, so it might be a little slow at times, or it might be, it might have some issues, um, and I might have some issues playing, like some timing might be a little different. I did play a little bit already, uh, the wall jumping seems a little off to me, uh, compared to the real console, so it is, it is a little weird. But hopefully we can, we can do this, we can do this, because this game is a fantastic masterpiece in my opinion. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing secret samples. Oh, recent samples from SY388, as well as parts of your suit infected by the X parasites. The curse of the explosion is as yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. I'll blink from there. Is your objective clear? Yeah. Now go to the quarantine bay. So this one is really different compared to Super Metroid, yeah, like I can't even like wall jump right now, like, come on, really? I can't do it at all? There we go. Like, this should be something that's like second nature to me, but like, it's, the timing is very different compared to the console. It's probably because of some kind of frame skipping setting or something that I pr could probably fix if I was more of a mastermind with Visual Boy Advance, but I'm not. Uh, maybe I should be probably using a different emulator, but at this point I don't really have a different emulator to use. Um, I don't really know what else to use because I am using the latest version of Merged um, because that's said to be the most accurate um, and have the least amount of issues. But yeah, so we're going off. Now this isn't going to be, like I said, a perfect speed run or anything like that. I'm just playing it because I like this game a lot. Boss signs are confirmed. Be careful. Alright. It does kind of, like, there are some parts where it kind of locks you into doing stuff that you really don't want to have to do. That's basically just uh, tedious. It's just boring tedium that you kind of have to do and deal with. Uh, so yeah, 
Oh, I probably should have checked. I am playing this with a PS3 controller, if anyone is interested. Um, so that is our first enemy. Oh, what's this? An x say Oh no, let's run away. No, we're gonna grab that, because it's actually... Uh, plot-wise, uh, it will be explained in like two seconds when we go back to the navigation room. But yeah, um, X-Parasites don't hurt us anymore, uh, which is good. Uh, we can't Morph Ball yet, I, obviously. You can't start a Metroid game with the Morph Ball, that's just not fair. It's just not how it works, right? This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X-Parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The gelatinous X-Parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X-Infection. Only a Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine works so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X-Parasites without a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. You may also restore latent abilities this way, so pursue free X-Parasites whenever you possibly can. This station is home to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the, we must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I'm already detecting massive biosigns in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but you are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Yes. It's gonna ask that every single time, so I'm just gonna skip over that every time now. Now I get going. I have released the lock on level one, uh, level zero hatches. Look for blinking hatches. Yeah. So as you can see, the station's pretty big, and there's a lot of areas to explore. And uh, map rooms have basically been replaced from Super Metroid with uh, all right, those are green locks. I can't open those. With uh navigation rooms okay um but yeah i'm not gonna try to perfectly speed run this i'm not gonna like go for any kind of record or anything i'm just gonna play it because i like this game like a lot and it's one of my favorite games uh that i think i've ever played in my life um it's something that i know i can finish and beat and have a great time with so why not do it for the channel you know Something to get my feet off the ground, because uh, I've never really done any good uh, good Let's Plays yet. Um, I've never really finished anything that I've started. Uh, anyone who's actually paid attention. I'm skipping this because I'm too busy talking. Uh, beam, weapon, something. Head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. Uh, you guys can go back and pause that. I'll probably, like, fix it. This missile's your chance of survival climbs to 20%. Um, there I go again, like... Uh, saying I'm not going to speedrun this, and then I'm like kind of autopiloting speedrunning it. Yeah, uh, I did this. This uh, some parts in this let's play might be a little bit of a kind of a refresher course for me, uh, because I'll probably probably be trying to remember what I'm doing or something that I'm forgetting. But uh, I did play this recently and beat it, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But um, yeah, I shouldn't need any kind of help or uh, it, if anything, any if anyone tries to give me anything. But I. Uh, you know, it should just be good old fun time. So yeah, that computer reminds me of a gruff Federation CEO I served under named Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on missions. From anyone else, it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect and with some irony, I named the computer after him. All right, operations deck. Yeah, this game, I just love the mechanics of it. Like, it, it feels so good to me, because it's a real Metroid game. No, wait, we don't want to go that way. Right, hold on. Yeah, we do. See, my brain. I should just listen to my brain, because it knows what it's doing. It remembers, like, everything. Data rooms. Now, these are the coolest. Like, I, I love... Uh... That is honestly one of my favorite sound effects from um, any, any Metroid game. Like, uh special unlock like prime is good but i love the one from fusion way more electrical no interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck this may be related to the x i'll work on it as for you try to find another way to the target it's located here i'm reading huge bio signs that's why i hope your missiles work to reload missiles you can use a recharge worm or absorb a special type of x parasite which is green if you couldn't if you couldn't you know understand that <laughs> nice little uh what do you call that oh what is there's um there's an actual name for like uh, colors being bound with, uh, words that, like, your brain kind of recognizes it, and it's like, oh, that's a special thing that I should probably look out for, you know? There's a, there's a name for it, but I can't remember it right now. You'll see them. Try it out. Is your objective clear? Yeah. Missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now find a way to the target. Alright. So I, I, 
I pretty much mo mo uh, know most of this game, honestly. Like, uh, not like super well, but uh, like not like like my hand like forwards and backwards. But like, if if I put my mind to it, I could probably remember pretty easily what I'm supposed to be doing and where I'm supposed to be going. Um, but I don't really have an issue with the game, uh, like trying to figure out where I'm going most of the time because this one is. It is more linear than like super or something like that. Um, all right, let's get some good practice in. Oh gosh, I can't even. Like this is something I gotta like have down to pat on like later parts, so I gotta practice now. Like, I'm trying to do it, like, at the game, like, like the same way I would on my Game Boy, and it's just not working. Oh, it, oh, it's kind of, like, I think I got it, maybe. Hold on. Oh, come on. I, I just can't do it. I just can't. This is awful. Man, emulators are suck. Alright, uh, if this gets to the point where I've been sitting here for two minutes trying to do this, like, I'm just gonna go, because none of you want to see this. Oh, I finally did it! Okay. Alright, uh, there's nothing here. That's right, I remember now. Alright, let's try it one more time. Alright, one more. Yeah, uh, boss battles are gonna be insanely hard for me until I get accustomed to how crazy that is. Get some missile tanks. Let's let's continue on with the game because yeah. No, the music in this. Oh my gosh, the music is one of my favorite of any any like NES or like like classic genre series. Is this 32 bit? I'm not sure. Uh oh well. Oh come on, man. You're you're losing it. You are losing it. Holy crap! I'm having so many issues right now, and I don't even know why. Come on. Come on. Oh, you did not just do that to me. Come on, open up. There we go. Alright, these red X's are awesome. Any, uh, those eyeball doors, they drop red X's. Um, and it's like, pretty much a full heal. Uh, it, it heals you quite a bit, which is really nice. And an energy tank. And it, uh, refuels your ammo too, which is awesome. Alright, so first boss battle. Let's, let's see how I fare. This one has got handholds for me right here, because I can't really wall jump. Now this is actually, uh, I played... I played, uh, a little bit of Samus Returns, uh, because I do have it. Um, this boss in that game is ridiculous. Like, I was having so much trouble fighting it. Like, I couldn't even do it. It was weird. Oh. I thought I was lucky for a second there, and I was gonna, like, fight this thing without getting hit once. Yeah, I'm not a perfect, like, on, on, on all those, uh, strategies for speedrunning where you can, like, get it, like, so it's prime positioning, so you can get the, you can grab the, uh, X Parasite, like, right as soon as it's ready to go, like, I'm not good at stuff like that, but, uh, I can't beat the game, <laughs> and that's what we're gonna do, uh, no matter what. I, I promise you, I will beat this game. Uh, honestly, maybe something I should do would be to run it on an emulator for a diff- like, on a different console and then record that console's gameplay. That might be something that might work, I don't know. Oh, probably something I should have mentioned before this. Uh, Nintendo, please, please don't hate me. Uh, I, 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 I own the game. I bought it a long time ago from a GameStop when I was like eight years old. Like, this game, this game's a, a legendary uh, piece of Nintendo history. Um, not as much as like Super Metroid. Well, okay, maybe as much as Super Metroid. I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't say as much as because it's, it's still important, but like, it's, I, I just want to play it. I want to play it so much. I want to play it for you guys. Samus, it says I feared that breeding environments have been invaded by X parasites. Sector 1 SRX shows several abnormalities on biosensors. Sector 1 is a simulation of the SR388S ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator to the access shaft and use elevator 1. Is your just clear? Yes. Use the navigation room just inside for further briefing. I'm not sure, but I think that whoever allowed the exit into the environment may also be linked to the earlier explosion. 
All right. Now, for anyone who's played this game, there's uh, there's something coming up that is uh, one of the best things in this game. Um, one of the most thrilling and probably something that uh, freaked a lot of people out way back uh, when when they first played this game. Like if they were really young, like I was. Uh, it didn't freak me out, but I thought it was really cool. Like just the idea of it. Um, and we'll be seeing it very, very, very soon. Uh, elevator. Oh, what's this? Samus? Wrong. That is an abnormality, if I do say so myself. Something that shouldn't exist, because that definitely is not Samus Aaron. That's for sure. Alright, well, now we're going down the elevator. Alright. Off to level one. Or, well, sector one. Whatever. Oh man, I, uh, I'm gonna be so bad with the with the perfect like because the, the, it, it feels different. It feels off. It's gonna be so weird to like do anything. It feels like in the game because it feels so strange and different than what I'm used to. Oh yeah, map rooms were replaced with navigation rooms. I think I already said that. Um, the main elevator leading the access shaft has been severely damaged. It will be totally unusable for some time. Unfortunately, some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful. Certainly not human. Of course. Because it's not Samus. I'll report when I know more. Now listen closely. The eggs in Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. They are already reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Is your objective clear? Now get moving. So, yeah. Navigation rooms are basically map rooms combined with uh, new objective markers. Where they tell you where to go. Um... Alright, well, now we're finally getting into at least somewhat of the beginning of the game. Uh. Oh, man. Alright. And, uh, if you look very closely, uh, little Easter egg for you guys. Uh, if you look at the top left of that thing, uh, that's a GameCube. You can see it. It's clearly a GameCube. Like, that's a nice little feature. Uh, because a lot of stuff back in this time period when this game came out was, uh, had to do with GameCube and the Game Boy and just, uh, that stuff in general. So there was, it's nice that there's a little nod. And you can actually plug this game into your Game Boy, uh, adapter for the, uh, for the, for the, or not, not into the Game Boy adapter, sorry. How you would connect it would be through, um, oh, what is that called? Engine tank. It was the link cable. Yeah, the Game Boy to, to GameCube link cable, uh, which was something that was really cool. Um, you could connect your version of Poke uh, uh, Pokemon <laughs> of Metroid Fusion. You could connect it up and actually have it. Uh, if you if you had beaten the game, you could play Metroid Prime using uh, using the the costume from Fusion, which was really cool. Yeah, I never did it because I never had the cable, and I didn't have uh, a GameCube at the time, or Metroid Prime, so, uh, yeah, I couldn't ever do that, but I, I don't even think I've ever owned a Link cable for my Game Boy, like, I never played multiplayer on my Game Boy, I just played mostly with myself, alright, which way am I going, I'm going this way, that's right. This probably isn't, like, the most, like, optimized route. Uh, it's just the one that I usually take because, yeah, I, like, I, I, I've actually, over the years, I've done a couple runs of this game. Um, quite a couple, actually. Um, and I, I quite enjoy this game, so I, I always come back to it, and I don't really know why that is. It's just, it's something that's fun to me, you know? You ever have one of those games where it's, like, it's just good to play, so you just play it a lot, because you like it. Like, you know, I hope I'm not the only one to ever experience something like that. Oh, we've already got freaking space pirates. Or whatever those are. I think they're space pirates. I don't know. I don't remember. Enemy names are not really my strong suit in this game, because it's, it's a Metroid game. There's so many enemies, and it's hard to remember all of them, unless you're like a pro Metroid, like, guru. 
All right, we got two more atmospheric stabilizers malfunctioning. We'll take care of those very shortly. Let's grab some energy and uh, uh, missiles while we, while we were waiting for that door to open. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh-oh. Oh, it's gonna get a little funky in here, ain't it? There we go. Alright, so where do we need to move? Uh, oh yeah. I don't remember if I can get this one yet, but... Oh, wow! I actually did a jump! Okay, I can't get this one right now. Missile tank? Alright. Alright, so many missile tanks already. Um... Okay, now we just gotta go on over here. Yeah. Um... The music in this game is honestly one of my favorite things about it. Like, it's it's just good. But then again, like, Nintendo's always been known for doing really good music. Like, in all of their titles. Like, all their, all their main flagship titles. Um, and this is, this one's no different. It's, it's just as good. Alright, get out of here. Alright, here we go. Okay. Ah, and another eye monster, which can only mean one thing, another boss battle, but we're gonna save. Ah, get my controls confused. It's a lot weirder playing on a controller that has way more buttons than the Game Boy ever had. Alright, here we go. Whoops, getting confused on those controls again. Dang it. I'm responding way too slowly with these controls. Alright, come on, just show me the eye one more time. There we go. Alright. No problem at all. Alright. Oh, that's a trick! What you knew from Super Metroid has changed. Oh, got a little carried away with that one. Oh. Oh. There we go. That was about as perfect of a placement as I could get. Charge beam ability recovered. Nice. Charge beam is awesome. And it really helped. Oh, oh man, I can't. I can't do it on this controller. From from the mapping I have, because I have uh as I said, probably a couple times now. Uh, I have a PS3 controller that I'm using uh, as my controller for this game, and playing it with, uh, I have B mapped to circle and A mapped to X, like a like sort of a normal Game Boy, um, and the controls uh, are farther apart than uh, a normal Game Boy is, so I can't exactly do my normal strategy of being able to jump and run while also holding down the shoot button to charge up my beam uh, because of just the way that it's designed. Um, so I'll probably change those controls very shortly here because that is not good at all. Because there are some parts in the game where you, like, it's a must to be able to run and jump and also charge. Like, there's no way I can beat this game without doing that. I probably have to change it so jump is, or uh, shoot is square. Yeah, that seems to be my best option. All right, we're gonna save it here. All right, and remember how we were talking about uh, parts where the jumping is gonna be necessary? Oh. Oh my gosh, guys. All right. 
Gosh, I can't. I just can't. I just can't do it. I don't know what it is. Is it like an input delay? A frame delay? Maybe I need to set up a frame skip. Maybe maybe that'll make this easier. Hold on. Let's let's see what happens. Uh alright, hold on. Uh video. Oh no. Oh, where's the frame skip? I don't even know how to edit frame skip on this. There's an auto skip frame thing. Maybe V-Sync. Let's try V-Sync. Let's see what happens then. I, I can't do it at all now. It feels just the same as it was. See, there's got to be some kind of, like, slight input delay, because there's no possible way that I can't do this. Because on, on, on the Game Boy, if I go back to the Game Boy, like, I'm a master. Like, I can I can do it this part, no problem. And it's, it's, it's because you're supposed to, uh, I believe, uh, wall jumping in this is you're supposed to jump, like, you're supposed to switch directions. So what you do is you jump towards the wall, and then you switch direction. So you jump towards the wall, and then you switch direction and hit jump at the same time. Like as soon as you touch the wall. And in this, it's not quite like that. It feels slightly off. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just bad. Oh, this might be a missile upgrade that I can't get, guys. Like, I how long have I been sitting here trying to do this already? Like, this is awful. <sighs> this is something that needs to have a fix. All right, uh, let's change those controls while we're doing stuff anyways. Configure, uh, let's see here. A is gonna be school, oh, let's, let's, I have to, oh no. Oh, how do I clear? Okay, all right, I'm gonna have to rebind all my controls real quick. Down, left, right, uh, A, B, L, R, select, start. Okay, that should be, that should be, oh, oh no. That's, that's, that's really weird. All right, hold on. Everything's going horribly, horribly wrong. All right, clear, up, down, left, right, um, A, B, L, R, select, start. Okay. All right, there we go. What? so weird because it's like I have to add like a split second delay to my inputs or else it doesn't work and if I'm more than a split second it's off and it just won't work gosh this is so weird and it's hard like I can't my brain has been it, it, the controls have already been ingrained in my brain so hard that this won't even work for me it's like honestly impossible Oh my gosh, I can see it. Okay, so all that's up there is a missile upgrade. If we can't do this within the next two minutes, I I will just I will just continue the game because there's no way. Oh, my hands are getting tired from this already because of this intense like Maybe there's like some sort of trick to figuring out how to do this. Oh no! One more! 
and we would have had it. It seems like the stress that's put on my thumb from uh, holding down this uh, shoot or the beam button actually is enough to sort of counteract my. Uh, it slows me down a little bit on my pressing, which is, in fact, enough, it seems, to get me to be able to press this perfect timing, almost. Because I could get way high. Yes! Oh my gosh, alright. A minute and a half, more than that, that I've spent there, but since I said that I was going to take a little bit more time. Oh my gosh, that was agonizing. Like, that's... That is awful. Uh, where are we going? I don't even remember. Oh, we're going up. No. Yeah, we're going up. Because we got beam. Oh. I, I, I don't actually... I didn't actually realize how much I missed the Game Boy controls until I don't have them anymore. Like... Holy crap. See, that's, uh, if you notice, I didn't take damage when I ran to that thing because I had full charged beam. Uh, now the reason for that is it actually creates this kind of protective layer around you, uh, that when something hits you, um, or if you, if you, it, it makes, uh, a pseudo corkscrew, I believe it's called, or a, su a pseudo screw attack. Uh, if I spin jump, like if I do a spin jump like that into someone uh, while I have a full charge, it'll actually damage them instead of damaging me. Uh, and that's called the pseudo screw, uh, I believe the term is in speedrunning and everything. And it's a very useful ability um, for killing enemies uh, when you don't have the time to like fire or shoot or anything. But that's why. But many other X have already, already made it to other sectors, it seems. In particular, Sector 2, Tro, Tropical Habitat, shows abnormalities. Suspect the X entered this sector with the help of our unseen saboteur. He or it may be in Tro now. Samus, get over there. We need to put an end to this. Yes. Start moving. I'll brief you at the Tro navigation room. But that would be why I said that it was an absolute must to be able to shoot and uh, jump at the same time. Like, hold the shoot button and jump at the same time. Because it's, 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 an, it's a nightmare without it. As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me. Well, he would end orders by saying, Any objections, lady? He knew I wouldn't disagree. That was just his way of noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer, too. Alright. We're making some headway. We're done with Sector 1 for now. I'm just, uh... Yeah, a bit of a foreshadow there. But... Oh, man. It's always just gonna feel off playing this on an emulator. Ugh, I, most of my commentary on this is probably going to be about that, but I, I apologize. Uh, but yeah, the pseudo screw is just a, a, a savior in some parts of the game. Um, it's so nice. I have learned the identity of our Mr. Saboteur. Samus, it's an X. It's an X mimicking you. I have named it the Sat X. Yes, for Samus X. I believe the Sat-X came from the capsule containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. That explosion breached the capsule containing all the X that started this disaster. But the Sat-X is definitely our biggest worry right now. The Sat-X is mimicking you at its full power. You can't face it. If you see the Sat-X, just run. Don't think about fighting. You are still very vulnerable to cold, an unexpected side effect of the Metroid vaccine. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. Of course, the Sat-X is armed with the ice beam. Stay away. If you see it, just run. HQ says they have bomb data ready in the data room. Bombs will help you find a way out if the Sat-X traps you. The data room is here, but it's sealed by a level 1 hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release it. The level 1 locks. But before, but per safety protocols, it's not marked on the map. You'll have to find it on your own somehow, Samus. So first, find the security room and unlock level 1 hatches. Then go to the data room and get that bomb data. Is your objective clear? Yes. Keep an eye out for the Sat-X. Alright, uh, so... You know, we're about 40 minutes in or so, uh, according to my timer here. I believe that's a good point to stop it for now. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next part of uh, Metroid Fusion, because this game is an absolute masterpiece, as I said. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys.